This channel was first a Naruto channel, then a Gintama channel, and now it's becoming a Urasawa channel. All three renditions of this channel have been great if I do say so personally, so I have no regrets. So let's discuss an everyman character today. More specifically, I'm here to talk about a particular character within Naoki Urasawa's greatest work, 20th Century Boys. He's sometimes called Yabuki Joe, sometimes the Messiah, but most times he's just called Kenji Endo. If you want to add another name to him, well, you can call him Bob Lennon. Within the Naoki Urasawa universe, Kenji Endo is the main protagonist of 20th Century Boys. The thing I like about him is the fact that he's just an ordinary man, a convenience store clerk, who is thrust into saving the world following a range of extraordinary circumstances when he's confronted with an enigmatic cult leader named Friend, who wants to destroy the world. But that's just the gist of it. The red herrings that follow and the mystery that unfolds gives Kenji Endo's character a significant amount of depth and makes his character even better. I won't say that Kenji Endo doesn't have any flaws, but even with those, he's still a good character. The first thing that I want to talk about Kenji is the level of relatability he has with the reader. I mean he's just a normal guy. He isn't special, doesn't have any powers, doesn't have any superhuman strength. Even at the human level he doesn't have any strength, he's just a skinny guy and just a normal average Joe. He starts off as an average guy running a convenience store, almost giving off the feeling that he's failed at life. Just like everybody else, he has some complications going on in his life. He and his mother are looking after his baby niece Kana in the start of the story as Kenji's sister is nowhere to be found. Kenji's sister gives him the daughter and he takes her out of respect and love for his sister. The mystery surrounding Kenji's sister is revealed later on in the series but at the time, Kenji took responsibility for a child when nobody else would or could. Overall what I'm trying to say is the level of relatability that he has with the viewer owing to his tumultuous life. He's just average and this is the one thing that I actually relate to. I don't know about the average viewer of this video but I actually related to Kenji's troubles and his character in general because I can easily connect with him and sympathize and empathize with his troubles and experiences throughout the series. When I was reading Kenji's story, I looked back at my own life and though it's not the same as Kenji, I still feel as though Kenji's experiences has some connotations with my own life. I'm just an average guy too, but the only the only difference is that I have a YouTube channel, but even that is quite average from the perspective of the digital world, but in my life it is kind of extraordinary. Now what I want to know is how Kenji Endo as a character influenced you. Stay tuned for part 2 of this video. Thanks for watching.